Hi, welcome to part two of creating the Turner's Cube in Autodesk Inventor Pro 2012. So when I left you last time, we were still playing around with where the, um, oops, we moved our, moved my cube a little too far. Um, we were playing around with where we should actually put our, um, our different faces and or how deep to do that. So at this point, you can always do a little bit of um, playing around with because of course, this is, it's important to um, create these so that the just the corners are linked. So if you're creating one that has multiple cubes within a cube, you're just going to have to play around with some of the dimensions until you get it. And the way to do that is really start with three faces. So um, I have here, uh, I clicked on this and then started a sketch and I'm going to start my circle again. So um, we're going to move this up. This time again I'm going to do, you can see, one inch is way too much and so I'd like the 0.667, that's a probably a good a good level. So I'm going to, seven. there we go, there's my circle, and I am going to finish my sketch and extrude it. Um, at the end of the video, we were just playing a little bit about just exactly how far to, to go in, um, and I actually found the, the, I tried to make it 0.25, and that was a little too low. So um, I went back to 0.333, and we're gonna cut in, choose that face, and do that again. So this time I'm going to do three faces here again to show you and uh, here we go and we're going to extrude three of them. Cut in at 3.3.3 sorry 0.333 here's our face with the actual hole in it. And again, extrude that. There we go. So now we have three faces. And there you can see where the cube is actually connected. And you can see that one, it's just a nice little spot right in the corner. There's still a little bit connected, and we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and continue again with the, the rest of the faces here. And doing the same thing that we're doing. Of course, you have to do this every single time, six times, six faces. Clicking the circle. If you're a little bored, we can actually go through this. I might edit this up and tighten tighten up the video. If not, I'm sorry if you're having to watch this, but it's probably good if you're a beginner to see exactly how long this takes and where this is going. So to finish the sketch, um, extrude, cut in, 0.333, and it looks like we just have one more face to do. And there we go. We have our cube within a cube within a cube. Um, I moved a little too far off the screen. I can go back to home. Um, you see, and this is pretty good. So now at this point, um, we've got our thing. We still need those circles in there. I recommend actually drilling the circles um, all the way through the big cube so that you don't have to worry about um, maybe breaking out the small cube with a drill. You can also do it if you just go nice and slow and work that out or you could even drill the cube after the first face but likely you're going to end up doing the CNC where you've got um, you're drilling out this piece and then this piece right there and so there'll be just the cube left. Um, you can really do that it, drill whenever you'd like. Um, but I also want to show you, instead of just making a circle and extruding, what I want to show you here is how to actually create a hole. So I'm going to create a hole here in this face. And you can see I've just created the hole. Of course, it's not actually centered. Um, so I want to cancel that again. Uh, let's go ahead and create a hole. So you notice I can actually just drag to specify the hole position if I want. 
um, and move that hole anywhere around. The only problem with that is I don't quite know where exactly the center of, the, of that face is. So if I actually want to, one easy way to do that is to click on this create a sketch from here and just click um, the point. Now if I click the point, now that point will stay there. If I finish the sketch, now I know exactly where to drill my hole. I'm only going to need to drill three holes. So there my hole is right there. Um, and click on that. Then, as you can see, I actually want this to be, again, my, remember we did a 0.125, or sorry, a 0.25 hole for a quarter inch hole. And I'm basically just through all. You can see that the hole goes all the way through and that, that's the idea is, is you're drilling a hole. Pretty simple, it's another way to, instead of using a circle and uh, the cut version of the extrude, you can actually make it a hole. It does the exact same thing, you can see right there. Um, the other way, of course, is to do the same way we just did, is to create the 0.25 circle, and finish the sketch, extrude it, the cut, and we're gonna, this time, the distance, so you know the distance is really important if we're going to actually extrude through. Um, notice that's only half the version, so we'd actually have to make sure your distance. That's why hole is kind of nice because it just goes right through the whole thing. Because I don't know exactly how deep that needs to be, but we could just make it 0.5, I suppose, and make sure that it actually, oh, notes. notice it doesn't even go through all the way, so let's make it 0.8. It goes all the way through. It doesn't matter that it goes all the way through and further beyond because that's just empty space anyway. So there we go. So now we have our finished cube within a cube. This is your finished Turner's cube. Um, and this is ready to go. At this point, we're going to save our part. Um, at this point, the, you can, one, uh, of course, save it as the, the actual um, Turner's cube. In the uh, as an IPT, that's an important one. But th the way we're going to get it to our actual CAM program is that we're going to take this right here, and I want to export. And the export is the important part. I'm actually export the CAD format right here. And this one now we can choose all the different things for um, cut 3D, they actually like STL files, so that's where I'm going to save my prod at as the Turner's Cube STL so that it can just be imported directly into cut 3D. We've saved our file, um, that's how you can also save it as any other file, so you can import it into whatever CAM software you are using. And here's my nice little Turner's Cube. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, check out the other instructable, the Turner's Cube, a beginner CNC milling project um, to actually make this and where I put all of the CAM information in there on how to, the, the computer aided machining program and all the settings on to actually create your tool paths and cut your program. So um, you're welcome to use this and uh, in any way that you'd like, enjoy. I hope you have a fun time making this project and uh, playing around with even more cubes within cubes and making bigger. You can also mill it out of plastic and uh, aluminum and all sorts of other things. So enjoy. Thanks so much for joining us.